بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از آسن اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کریٹ کیلکولیشن فارم یوزنگ فارمونیٹر پلگ ان ان وارڈ پریس بفور اسٹارٹنگ ورک اٹس مائی ریکویسٹ پلیز سبسکرائب مائی چینل تھینک یو نو بیک ٹو آر ورک سو وی آر ان وارڈ پریس ڈیش بورڈ آن لیفٹ سائڈ یو سی پلگ ان سو کلک آن ایڈ نیو سو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو انسٹال پلگ ان سکرول ڈاؤن ان سرچ پلگ ان رائٹ فارمونیٹر So this is plugin for minator contact form payment form and custom form builder plugin we will use so you will install this plugin and activate it and after activation scroll down on left side you see form minator so click on it now scroll down we are in dashboard and then you see create button so click on it and then you see choose a template blank code request registration login so click on blank so we are going to create calculation form now select and then click on continue so you can add form name calculation and then click on create now edit form section open and scroll down you see different option fields appearance behavior email notification integration setting and then you see status draft now you see button insert field so click on it Now you see different option here choose which field you want to insert into your form you see name email phone address now scroll down you see different multiple fields now click on name first and then click on insert field now pop up open you see label setting styling visibility now we are in label now in single section you see label so you can add label name according to your requirement and then you see place holder If you want you can add place holder according to your requirement and then you see multiple so click on it now you see different option here prefix first name middle name last name now open expand you see label default name drop down and then first name middle name last name so it's depend on you if you want you can select single or multiple so i select single and then click on setting now you see required force user to fill out the field so optional or required so required and this is error message so scroll up you see styling so click on it now you see additional css classes so if you want you can add css class so you can add style for this field using css class and then click on visibility so you want multiple field to enable visibility condition now you see message you need more than one field to configure visibility condition now again click on label click on apply now you see field is added now first click on publish now publish form now this is our form short code copy now go to page paste here and then click on update now page updated done go to page refresh the page now you see name field and also you see send message button now go to edit form again again you see insert field so click on it now you see email so click on it and then again click on insert field now you see label setting styling setting required so you can add custom message and then click on apply now you see name email added now this is single column layout if you want you can make multiple column layout now drag now you see drag and drop so now this is two column layout so now we are going to add some calculation field so click on insert field now drop down you see select so click on it and then click on insert field now pop up open now we are in single type and then you see place holder select value and then you see label so you can add label according to your requirement now product and then you see description if you want you can add according to your requirement now scroll down you see option now product 1 or product a product b now add more option product c so we added three product in drop down now scroll up 
you see setting so click on it required so if you want you can add error message and now scroll down you see search display the search box in a drop down if you want you can enable it and then you see limit submission if you want you can enable disable according to your requirement now scroll up you see calculations so click on it now enable calculation now you see we have three product product a product b product c now add value 10 20 30 so price of product a is 10 product b is 20 product c is 30 now scroll up you see styling or visibility now you see visibility option enable because we have multiple fields now scroll down click on apply now you see drop down field added for product now click on update now you see update done now go to form page and refresh the page now you see this is our form name email address then you see drop down product select value product a product b now back to edit form again click on select now select product we change placeholder again click on apply now you see insert field so again click on it so we are going to add again drop down select and drop down insert field now you see single placeholder select quantity now paste label or you can add number so you can add according to your requirement now you see and scroll up you see setting require calculation enable now you see calculation value 1 2 3 4 5 and then again click on apply now click on update now saving go to form page and refresh the page now you see name email address product drop down and quantity now back to edit form so we added select quantity in drop down go to calculation so for value of 1 we added 1 now 2 and then click on apply again click on update now save and go to insert field again and now you see calculation so click on it again click on insert field now label so you can add label name according to your requirement now go to setting read only drop down you see formatting now you see prefix suffix separator round to so you can add or select option according to your requirement now scroll up you see calculation so this is our main tab now you see calculation formula then you see plus minus multiply if you want you can add function also now you see add form field so click on it now you see we have to drop down calculation enable product and select quantity so select product and then select multiply again click on add form field now select quantity so this is our formula now click on apply and then click on update now save go to form page and refresh the page now you see we have name email address product drop down quantity drop down and then you see calculation now select product a and now select quantity one you see 10 price if you select five quantity 50 price if you select three quantity 30 and if you change product drop down now you see price is change now back to edit form again click on insert field now scroll down you see currency stripe paypal if you want you can link your form to stripe and paypal also if you want you can add number field now click on number insert field now you see number so we add a select quantity now go to setting required maximum value according to your requirement now go to calculation now you see enable apply and then you see calculation drag and drop here now you see setting icon so click on it and then click on edit field 
now go to calculation now remove this again click on add form field now you see select quantity so this is our number field now click on apply and then click on update now form save done go to form page and refresh the page now you see product drop down select product a product a price is 10 now you see quantity so 10 now you see 100 if we add one quantity now you see 10 so it's depend on you if you want you can add drop down if you want you can add number field now back to edit form now click on edit again now go to calculation so you can add formula according to your requirement so you can add plus minus you can add number field you can add drop down so in this way you can create calculation form using formulator so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching